my caffeinated friends, I'm Don Robles, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. All of the supplies used in today's video can be found on my online store at caffeinatedcraftlady.stampinup.net. Also, we're in the last month of celebration, so with every $50 qualifying order, you get to pick an item from for free out of our mini celebration catalog. And I have all of the details over on my online store uh, so you can get more information there. Now, let's get on with the project here today. Today I am showing you how to make this adorable little matchbox candy holder. It's very simple. You can actually get four from one sheet of cardstock. And mine is actually holding some hot tamales right now, but you can put M&M's, Skittles, any of those snack size candies right in there. So, enough with that. Let's go ahead and let's get started. We are going to be uh, using the Dress to Impress stamp set today. I absolutely love this bundle. It comes with um, the stamp set and you can also get the dies and save 10%. Um, today we're going to go ahead and use this little... Um, squiggly blob here. We're going to use Hello Fabulous and we're going to use this little leaf over here. So those are the three stamp sets that we will need today. Now we're go also going to need a piece of cardstock. I'm using the Purple Posy cardstock and it is cut at two and three quarters by eight and a half. I am also using a piece of designer series paper which is cut at two and a half by three and a quarter. So let's go ahead and get started with our scoring first. We're gonna go ahead and take our cardstock. Let me get you here in focus. And we're gonna make our first score line at three quarters of an inch. We're then gonna score the next one at four and a half and then five. And that is seriously all the scoring we have for today's project. We're going to go ahead and burnish the lines, if I can find my bone filter. That always happens, doesn't it? I don't know about you guys, but I seem to be the most creative when I have a disaster happening around me. So the messier my desk is, the more creative I seem to be. When I clean off my desk, uh, I just kind of stop flowing. Okay, so we have created our score lines. Now we're gonna take the short side and we're gonna go ahead and adhere our DSP right here. So the part that has the flap, we're not, we're not adhering anything right here, just this top portion here. And I'm also using the designer series paper from the Dress to Impress Suite. And I love, 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 I can't put this away. So stay tuned because I do have more videos coming out this week. And these, I'm in the beginning of stages of making YouTube videos. So please just bear with me because <laughs> it's not as easy as it seems. So we went ahead and put on, on our DSP. We're going to go ahead and grab one of our candies. And then we're just going to line that up at the bottom of that score line right there. So push it all the way to the bottom. Make sure that it's tucked in there good because I made this the other day and I stapled it and thought I was all cool. And then I opened it up and the candy fell right out. So that's me. So then what I'm, the way that I kind of measure where to put my staple is I just fold over the top flat flap and then kind of line it up. That way I know exactly where to put my staple so it's not too high and it's not too low. Put that on in there and just go ahead and slide my cover right in. There I've created my matchbook candy. But of course, you know, we're, we're stampers so we have to dress it up a little bit. So just go ahead and grab a piece of your um, Whisper White cardstock and I'm grabbing a piece to stamp off on. And I'm gonna grab my Highland Heather uh, ink pad and the little squiggly, squiggly blob, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp off one. That way we can get it a shade, shade lighter. As many of you are aware, we can no longer get the Purple Posy ink, so this is kind of improvising with that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that down. And see, it's got a nice, 
light hue. And then I'm going to grab my gorgeous grape ink and I love this it is so bright and springy I just love it and we're gonna stamp hello fabulous because we all need a little pick-me-up from time to time and then I'm gonna take that little leaf and ink that up and just put that right around the bottom there just give it a little something something so that's all the stamping I have for today I'm going to go ahead and grab my one and a half inch circle punch and just punch that right on out. And then I previously cut a one and three quarter inch um, mint macaron circle and I'm just going to adhere the two together. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals, slap it on the back side right there. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. And adhere it to the front. Super, super cute, super easy. Now I wanted a little more pizzazz, so I went ahead and grabbed some of our new Daffodil Delight ribbon. Isn't that stuff pretty? That is also in our new mini catalog, and I just tied a bow. I didn't want to make you suffer trying to watch me tie a bow on camera, so I did that, and then I just put that right there at the bottom just to give it a little oomph. And there you go. Easy, cute, little holder candy holder you can put it on a co-worker's desk you can stuff little birthday bag uh, little extras in the birthday bags um, just go out and have fun with it create what you want you can always use do a male version as well so guys i hope you enjoyed my video hang around i'm going to be doing a little bit more this week or this month i'm sorry with the dress to